What's up everyone, Eric Tollefson from Microchip Technology here, and today I figured that I would highlight the preferred path for 8-bit PIC and AVR development. Now when I start a project, I often feel overwhelmed and almost lost with where to begin, so one of the perks of using Microchip Technology is that there's a hardware or software tool for each critical development stage. Having these tools and support helps make the whole development process just a little bit easier. So we're going to start today on Microchip's main webpage, and we are going to head up to Products, then over to Microcontrollers and Microprocessors, 8-bit MCUs, and finally PIC MCUs. Now if we scroll down just a little bit on the webpage, we're going to see Get Started Now, and let's go ahead and press that. Now this brings us to this awesome new interactive infographic on our webpage that acts as an overview of our tool ecosystem. So let's start on the left here with find code examples. If we click that, it opens up this little information packet about MPLAB Discover. So uh, this button right here says visit Discover. Let's go ahead and press that and you can see that MPLAB Discover opens up in a new tab. So MPLAB Discover is really my go-to when it comes to inspiration for projects or design ideas. MPLAB Discover is a website and it offers fully configured projects and code that I use for guidance, certainly in my own development. And I find it really beneficial to have an example similar to what I want to create, so I have something to look back at if I get stuck. Its content filtering system is extremely good and I'm able to filter through thousands of examples based on my search criteria. I can filter by the device I'm using, any core independent peripherals I want to use, or even by a general description or keyword that may apply to my application. Now when you find a project that's similar to what you want to create, or even a project that just interests you, go ahead and click on it to open that project. And on the project page, you can see what software and hardware was used for it, as well as the project's code write-up. And from this page, you can follow along step-by-step -step to recreate the project or just download its contents so you can open it in MPLAB X, which is our own integrated development environment. One cool feature of MPLAB Discover is that code examples can also be directly opened in our free and fully cloud-based IDE, MPLAB Express. MPLAB Express is the best starting point for new users of PIC and AVR microcontrollers, and it allows you to easily configure your device, add peripherals, and develop an application all from the web. Now let's go ahead and head back to our little infographic on Microchip's webpage, and you can see our next step is configure. So go ahead and press configure, and you can see that MPLAB Code Configurator, or MCC, appears. Now, whether you are a new or experienced developer, ease of use is an important aspect of any development ecosystem. So MPLAB Code Configurator, it's a graphical programming plugin for MPLAB X and MPLAB Express. It allows you to easily enable and configure peripherals specific to your application, and it'll generate easy to understand C code, which you can use within your application. And really, that's one of my favorite features because I routinely use the generated functions within my own application code. And another great feature of mine is being able to set registers with drop-down menus. This saves so much time compared to looking through data sheets. However, you can still access that documentation directly from the configuration drop-down menus if you get stuck or you want to learn more about the specific register you're working with. Once MCC has generated your application structure, you can continue developing your application in MPLAB X. So let's head back to Microchip's webpage and let's click on our next portion here, Develop. So under Develop, you can see MPLAB X IDE as well as MPLAB Express, which we have talked about. So MPLAB X has many great plugins and development resources from software libraries, data sheets, and user guides to help streamline your development process. Now all PIC and AVR MCUs are supported by MPLAB X's own C code compiler, XC8. And XC8 is available in both a free and pro version to help reduce code size and speed up execution time. Now there's also a TubeSUD certified functional safety license for XC compilers if you're working on safety critical applications. 
So let's go ahead once again back to Microchip's webpage and we're going to click on our next segment, Debug here. And so under Debug, you can see that there are some YouTube courses on advanced debugging and breakpoint video series, uh, which if you click this, it'll open up directly for you, as well as a link to our own kind of informational learning center called a Microchip University. Microchip University has many, many courses on anything that you could really want to know more about, as well as some step-by-step -step introduction series to MPLAB X, MCC, Curiosity Nanoboards, etc. And so I definitely suggest that you guys go and check out Microchip University. I'll have it linked down in the description below, so make sure to check that out. Now after debug here, we have boards. So let's go ahead and click boards. And you can kind of see that our Curiosity Nano development platform is displayed right in front of us. So Curiosity Nano boards are available for most of our PIC and AVR MCUs, which really allows you to evaluate all different types of architectures and on-chip peripherals. The cost-effective and pocket-sized boards are a fully integrated MCU development platform, which is really targeted towards first-time users or really anyone seeking a feature-rich rapid prototyping solution. Curiosity Nano boards feature I.O. access, some user interfaces, and an integrated programmer debugger. But if you wish to add more advanced sensing or connectivity to your application, the Curiosity Nano baseboard features micro bus slots for clickboards. Now there are hundreds of PIC and AVR compatible clickboards from analog sensors, human machine interfaces, LED and OLED displays, as well as wireless connectivity solutions. So be sure to check out the Curiosity Nano baseboard and full catalog of Curiosity Nano development boards by heading to microchip.com, tools and resources, evaluation boards, and then Curiosity Nano development platform. Now today we've kind of covered a lot, but with the MPLAB ecosystem of software and hardware tools, discover new applications with MPLAB Discover, configure your system, device, and peripherals with MPLAB Code Configurator, then you're going to want to develop your code in MPLAB X with our XC compiler, and then finally debug with a Curiosity Nano development board and reach your end market faster with a best-in-class experience. Make sure to check out the description below for more information on how to download the MPLAB ecosystem of development tools and keep an eye out for the next video in this introductory series, which will cover unboxing and getting started with your Curiosity Nano development board. Thank you very much for watching.